Hey folks, it's Enigma from JR Forums, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, a tutorial on how to perform or how to play the Kindred Spirits keyboard solo, not the second part where he's doing like the, um, not the unison or harmony with the guitar, just the keyboard solo part itself. So what you need to know is basically it's an E major and kind of flips around between keys, but it's an E major um, solo. And there's probably about six or seven really, really tricky parts. So I'm going to be using um, JR sound, like a Jordan Rudis lead sound, and showing you and stopping and, and doing each section. So let's just jump right on into it. <laughs> stop there and show you basically it's three things that are kind of complicated so the slower notes not a problem but it's when he does this like um <laughs> he does this e major um descended run so it starts on b and it ends on b and it goes for two octaves <laughs> Now, something interesting that happens is when he gets to the bottom and he, he stops on B, and well, he doesn't technically stop on B, he just stops on the E just above this B, so it's like this. Now, what happens is he's going immediately from this E um, into an arpeggio, or an arpeggio. It's a D-flat arpeggio in the first inversion, uh, in minor, sorry. And then he changes it to A major in the second inversion. So it's the descending, um, hit the E, and then switch from, I guess I play it in the fourth finger, and then switch to my thumb, and then do the, the arpeggio, and then do the second arpeggio. Now when he lands on the E, he pauses the E, he holds the E for like a, a I guess it's a dotted eighth note? I'm not sure, I'm not that into the, I haven't looked at the notation for it, but um, somebody I'm sure will correct me on that one. Anyway, descending scale, and then B, or the D flat minor first inversion arpeggio, to, arpeggio up, and then the A major second inversion arpeggio up. So it's like this. Uh, that's not right, it goes like this. You get the idea. So to start off here and then carry on, we'll stop at the next hard part. Okay, so that section, um, there's two kind of tricky sections there for me anyway. Um, the first one is this it's the D flat minor first inversion kind of he does this thing I, I don't know what to call it but um, it's an arpeggio anyway I'll play it slowly so you can hear each note so that is what it is slowly basically what it is is it's the first inversion in D flat minor and then he plays um, he plays E flat and G flat instead of the E and D flat. And then he does this twice. Once he's done that, he switches to the second inversion. And so it's a little bit different on the second inversion, where it's doing E, A flat, E, D flat, and then A flat. And then he go. He takes those top two notes and drops them down, uh, like a tone or a semitone in the scale. And then he pushes them up one. And then he pitch bends on the A. So playing it a little bit faster, it goes.
The second part of that fast downward run is actually a B major arpeggio. Um, Jordan loves his arpeggios, as we can tell. The uh, downwards arpeggio starts on B, and it, it starts on a B major, and then he does a crossover thing. So it starts here. And that's what it sounds like slowly. So it's just the first octave, and it's basically, if you think of it in three octaves, it's like this. B major positions the whole time in, in the root inversion. Um, but it goes down. And then it does a G flat um, B kind of thing. And then he does that quickly. So this is right after the... Like that part. Let's carry on. Okay, so that part, interesting. It's um, it it took me a couple a uh, couple hours just working on that section alone to be really comfortable with it. What it is is it starts off with an a, it's like an A major shape. <laughs> So it starts off with an A major um, ascending, has an arpeggio that's like a broken arpeggio down, and then ends off in um, oh, sorry. So it goes like this. Whoops, sorry, helps if I use the right fingering. C wasn't supposed to be there. So that it's that's basically it slowly. It's um it has the pitch bend and then the ascending and then it does the well, I guess it's a sixth note um, down the arpeggio. Now right from here, it goes, um, so it does this weird, uh, well not really weird, he just does the, um, it's an A major arpeggio up, but instead of starting on A and going straight into the arpeggio directly, he does an A, B, C sharp thing. So it sounds like this. Um, and so on. So I'll start from here. So I'm going to show you that part first. Um, there's two ways to kind of play this. The way that Jordan does it is he does a uh, left hand dominant. I say left hand dominant just because it's doing more notes. But it's it's like this. So those are the notes. Um, I'll slow it I'll play it one more time just a little bit slower so you can kind of really get a grasp of what's what it's doing. In terms of fingering, um, it goes, it's E flat B, and then the left hand does, um, it's an A flat minor arpeggio starting in the second inversion. So it's like this. And then the right hand jumps up to B, and then A flat, and then the left hand jumps up, same key. Uh, it's still an A flat minor, but it jumps up to the root inversion and stays there. So it's like this for the left hand. And then you hit the A flat again. So the right hand, um, after that point, where it goes. 
So the right hand is then doing um, E flat. So E flat B, E flat, um, A flat, A natural. And so slowly, because I haven't practiced it this way, I practice it a different way, just different fingerings, but the same notes. Um, it looks like this. So the way I play it is just a little bit different. I'm more right hand dominant, um, meaning my left hand doesn't have as much technique as my right hand does. So I do it a little bit differently. I do the left hand with easier notes. So I do the same notes, but I put my right hand in a stable position. Same notes, but I'm doing um, my positioning for my right hand is doing the B, E flat, A flat, B. But the only difference is, is instead of be directly being ascending, it's like this. So that's what my right hand plays. Together it sounds like this. And then you speed it up. So going from there. So that one, that one was another one that I, I still don't totally feel comfortable with. Sometimes I nail it, sometimes I just don't. Um, but here are the notes. So it sounds like this. And the fingering I tend to use is... It, it, I think that like it feels like A major, so I'm doing five four three two, and then I'm doing a one on the lower A. And so sped up um, again. I may or may not get this. That's the last part of the solo. So it the the very very last section it goes. Um, hang on, how does it go? Right. So it goes. Um, hard to hear, but it actually does this 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 descending thing where it goes. It's not just a... So it goes... And that's just an E major ascending up starting on B. Okay, and so all together it sounds like this. Here's uh, Cross and Fingers.
that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it helpful.